Colors are probably the most effective and obvious way for you to communicate with your audience. You can add colors to several places on your page. Text color, which in CSS is just color. It's what we've been using so far. Color colon red, right? Are you awake? Good. Background dash color changes the background of that element. Or border dash color changes the border of that element. Let's change the background color, for example, I can say select the body tag, change the background dash color to red. Gross, but it works. So the value can be the color name in English, like red, blue, or green. But what if I wanted a lighter red? There's no official lighter red. I mean, lighter by how much? That's not specific enough. Well, then you can use color values that are more specific. For example, hex, hexadecimal life. Every color you can possibly think of has a hex value. You can get pretty specific with them, and in most cases you will. They're a little weird, but you don't have to remember them. You can just click on this box in Chrome DevTools uh, and use this awesome color wheel to choose exactly the color that you want. Or if you work with a designer, they'll hopefully give you these values. They start with a hash followed by six numbers. So this, for example, is how you set the color red using hex. This is hex for red. The reason hex values exist, again, is because there are far more colors available than we can describe in English. So you can define the color using its hex value instead of plain English. I've been using a website called colorlovers.com for many years now. You can find amazing combinations of colors there, including their hex value. You can also use RGB values. If you're a designer, you know what I'm talking about, right? RGB stands for red, green, blue. Each value goes from zero to 255, I believe, uh, and represents each basic color, red, the green, and blue. You can create all kinds of colors that your eyes could possibly see with RGB, just like hex. Notice in Chrome DevTools, you can see the RGB value as well as the hex. So how do you use RGBs? You can say color, RGB, and in parentheses, you can add uh, the three values separated by comma. There's also RGBA, and this is a big one. It's for advanced programmers, so hold on to your butts. Just kidding, you can use RGBA even if you're just starting out. I use it all the time. That's red, green, blue, alpha. The alpha channel is the transparency level of your color, or opacity level, meaning how much can you see through it. By default, all colors are 100% uh, visible because you can't see through them so their alpha value is one it goes from zero to one so if you want to change the alpha value to say 50 percent you make it 0.5 or 0.2 means 20 percent again you can go from zero to one and the default is one 100. there are other ways to specify colors like hsl hue saturation lightness or hwb i think hue whiteness blackness or something like that. I personally never used either. There might even be other ways, but most people use hex or RGB. And so for the purposes of this course, we won't use anything else. You can read more about colors on W3 schools if you're obsessed. Good luck to you. <laughs> Some people. So anywhere you can add color, you can use any of these values. Now, instead of showing you some lame little example, we're gonna give uh, the colors to your profile page, the one that you built using the HTML basics course. If you don't have it, that's okay. Uh, you can either go back and make it or go to this URL on Color Code's GitHub account, wherever it's gonna pop up and uh, you can download it from there. Click on the download button and uh, get the zip file that has the HTML templates and everything else. Also, make sure to follow Color Code on GitHub so you see all the updates and everything else that I'm gonna put up there. So, my friends, let's go color some stuff. Mm -hmm.